The number one question I always get is, how are you able to travel all the time? So what I'm gonna do is show you how I was able to travel to Europe for less than $2,000 for a whole month. The first thing is the flight to Europe. What I did is I actually found a round trip tickets from New York to Paris for $250. Once I saw it, I booked it. But I don't live anywhere close to New York. So what I had to do is I bought a ticket from Dallas to New York for about $150, which is a really good deal. And right there, I had my round trip tickets to Europe for $400. Um, another thing that people spend a lot of money on is accommodations. What we did to save money was couch surfing. So basically what couch surfing is, is locals open up their house and let people stay on their couches for free. And honestly, it kind of sounds scary and kind of sketch and honestly, it kind of sounds like that right now too while I'm talking about it. But if you just read the reviews and see that other people have stayed there and have positive reviews and um, you should be okay and honestly I had a great experience with couch surfing and I would totally do it again but some places we weren't able to get hosts to couch surf us so what we did was stay in hostels. Hostels are about $15 a night and that's really really cheap and I would say about 20 nights we stayed in a hostel so out of 30 nights so um, 20 times 15 was about 300 bucks for accommodations for a whole month in Europe. Another thing um, we spent probably the most on is food because we love to eat everywhere in Europe. All the food's really good. And I would say we spend about 20 bucks a day on food, um, give or take some days, because sometimes we would just go buy a loaf of bread, get some peanut butter and jelly, eat that for lunch or dinner, or both too. And we saved a lot of money by eating a lot of PB&J. Like we ate so much PB&J, but I love PB&J, so it's okay. And another thing we did was we would go to the grocery store and buy food to um, cook. Hostels have kitchens, so there we would um, all see what we wanted to eat, split the price, and that was a really good way to save money on eating out. But um, I would say that was the most expensive thing, especially like in Italy, I spent like $100 in gelato, and um, it was really good. I would do that all over again, too. And something that we didn't really use that saved us a lot of money was Uber. Uber's great, I use it all the time, but in Europe, um, you're exploring and we wanted to explore more by foot. If we wanted to go somewhere, we would Google map it and see how far it was. It would say two hour walk. We said, okay, great, let's walk it. We have a whole month in Europe. Why not explore it by foot? But also um, there are some days that we had to catch a bus real quick. That's when we use the Uber, but we split that cost. I would say we spent like $100 on Uber for a whole month. And one thing that really, really saved us a lot of money was um, using a Flexbus voucher. So Flexbus actually offers a five voucher ticket um, to get you to different countries. So that's what we use for each one. And the total for five different tickets was $100. So basically 20 bucks to get to each city. And also we use the night um, buses because it would leave like at 9 or 10 p.m. and we woke up in a new country every time we traveled so that was really cool to just wake up and go and be refreshed even though it wasn't comfortable sleeping on the bus um, it was still worth it even though we were on a budget we didn't want that stopping us from doing some cool activities so while we were there we also did the must do tours like we did a tour of the Colosseum in Rome and we also rode a gondola in Venice and the coolest thing uh, we paraglided over the Swiss Alps so just because we were on a budget doesn't mean that we couldn't do those expensive stuff even though it did cost more uh, it's definitely worth doing and worth um, spending that money on so I would say we spend about $350 on total for all the tours and fun activities we did um, and we did them in like every city we went to so that was really cool um, to just experience all those must-dos. Honestly, this was my first backpacking trip and I had no idea what I was doing, what to plan or anything. So we basically just went and um, did it and it was honestly one of the best trips I've ever done. About six months before this trip, I actually graduated from college, so uh, I still was in debt with student loans. But I worked about 60 hours a week, um, just Monday to Sunday, every single day to be able to afford this uh, trip and to I keep paying like my student loans, my bills. And honestly, I believe if you truly want to do something, you'll work hard for it. So that's what I had to do um, to be able to afford this trip. And 
I believe lots of people don't want to travel like this because um, people want to stay at nice resorts or five-star hotels and eat at five-star restaurants and um, that's great if you have that money for it but if I did it like that I wouldn't be able to travel all the time so this is just um, showing you how I'm able to travel all the time and how you're able to do it too.